right, here we go again. Uh, we're gonna hit you with a little subcast action for today. Um, actually, kind of hoping that uh, Tyler and I can get together a little bit later on. We might actually get a um, regular, um, regular episode on in. But just wanted to, while I have the time, uh, talk to you guys for a little bit. Been been a minute, and uh, you know, always enjoy the subcast. Um, was looking at our channel as well and just noticing a few things and I was beginning to wonder I was like man we got our Cerebrus Wrestling channel here Tyler's got um, you know the the T Curry podcast you know uh, Shaquan's on YouTube YouTube with Be Heard and you know we're kind of talking about a Cerebrus network and then I was looking at our stuff and we've got our subcast we've got our tech cast and then we've got our regular podcast episodes and I was like man is that all too much to have in one thing and then I was like you know no I think I kind of like it um, I hope you guys like it too. It just adds a little bit of variety and hopefully you can find something that you like. Obviously, we can see TechCast. Probably go hit up the YouTube page to watch the videos and stuff. Uh, hopefully, we can get more of those going. Uh, the subcasts are generally a little bit shorter by nature. Um, just as, you know, most times those are kind of a solo deal and just kind of talking about something relevant to what's going on currently or answering of questions or just maybe even a little bit more feedback. And then our regular podcast is just kind of us, uh, for the most part, doing our, our wrestling talk. And then, you know, really whatever else we want to talk about, too, which is always fun. But, um, you know, and then I, I was noticing, I guess, you know, maybe we could say they're following our lead. Um, probably not, but it would be cool. But I noticed, like, the, the Rudest podcast, I mean, they have, like, all their shows kind of just coming in on one feed. And, um, you know, and I, it, that's, that's always fun to listen to and to, to see. And, you know, I'm not ashamed to mention it, you know, like, uh, I listen to other podcasts and always getting good ideas and stuff. And I was talking to people and we, I was talking about the book that um, that they talk about on the Rudest Podcast right now, The Switch. Uh, I got that on order. I want to read that. And I just thought it had a lot of cool stuff just for... Um, not just as a wrestling coach, but as an educator and, and dealing with students and just other things to that nature. So I just thought it was kind of cool there too. So got that on order. We'll talk more about that later on. Um, but really kind of one of the things I want to talk about today, and I think it's kind of cool because like uh, <clears throat> those of you that have been following us for a little bit, we've been around for just over a year now. Those that are kind of new to following us and checking us out uh, had some questions uh, about different things. So sometimes I figure also the subcast is a good way to recap slash review things that we've uh, possibly talked about before even even if they're just in the subcast and um, one of the things that brought this on was somebody was asking it's like you know you always seem like a, a pretty <clears throat> happy person or um, easy go lucky and I like, do worry about others and just and different things of that nature and <clears throat> I felt it was just a good chance to um, re-hit some things especially being a new year still um, we're still in January um, I already told you how I feel about resolutions um, you know I don't personally uh, set New Year's resolutions, but more life goals, um, you know, resolutions versus goals, different things like that. But that's, uh, check out one of the previous podcasts or subcast if you want to hear about that. But what I was going to say about that was, you know, um, one of the reasons why I think I am that way or something that I've bought into uh, as far as doing things or several of these things that uh, I wrote them down just so I can make sure that I remember to hit them all up because I think I've talked about them each individually. But one was like, you know, I don't worry about other people per se. Um, yeah, we work around other people and we're around other people all the time. And uh, anybody that knows me knows I kind of joke. I'm like, the world would be a great place if it wasn't for other people. You know, sometimes I think people are, are kind of stupid. Uh, sounds kind of negative, but in the same way, maybe it is kind of true too, though. Um, not everybody can be like me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I, I try not to worry about other people in reality, though, not saying that they're insignificant other things. I just know that they're not in control of my life and I can't control their lives. Um, yes, I know other people, whether I agree with them or disagree with them, um, whether you're my friend or not my friend or however you want to phrase it, like even like people that I associate closely with, I can't control their lives. I can't make them do something or not do something. I can't make decisions for them, nor would I want to. Um, you know, uh, it's hard enough being a parent and trying to like manage my kids and kind of, not necessarily manage them, but bring them up the right way or how I feel is the right way with the right morals and ethics and, uh, you know, work drive and just to generally be good people. But I can't spend my time worrying about other people in the sense that like, I have no control over what other people do. They're in charge of their lives. Um, I can control what I do and I try to keep that in a positive way and not let others affect that. I also try not to let my life be defined by others, you know. Um, and how they're doing things and whether they're happy or not happy. Now, on the flip side of that, I know, you know, I think you need to surround yourself with some like-minded people, people that will support you, people that whether they agree with you or don't agree with you will still support you, will still be their friend for you, will still be there for you, will still talk to you, will still 
Um, be that person you can call in the night. We'll still be that person that's willing to work out with you. We'll still be that person that's to to challenge you to uh, achieve your goals, uh, whether they be work related, workout related, or whatnot. Um, you know, we've got another friend. You know, I've challenged her to, you know, uh, for a workout thing, just to continue to push herself and, you know, kind of trying to hold each other accountable. I just a great day outside. Got done with work a little early today because the kids got an appointment, and uh, like I said, trying to sneak this episode in and got got my run in and she was like she's going to get her walk in later on tonight so i think it's kind of cool that we're able to talk and and hold each other accountable for things you know um you know hold yourself accountable with your spouse you know uh your significant other whichever i love working out with my wife uh we've been working out in the compound um she's been kicking my butt and things and you know it, it's cool to come home and have the question you ready to work out tonight yeah you know um so you know putting yourself with like-minded people not in the sense that you know you all want to be cookie cutter in the same but you want to have like similar goals sometimes i think it's just helpful uh to be on a similar trajectory in mind track you know you don't necessarily have to be doing the same thing but you both want to be successful in in something and have a positive mindset and and looking at things that way um and when we look at that you know i also phrase it and you know somebody was like about you know being happy about things and you know I, I generally feel pretty happy about things but you know we all have our days but I really try to do this one this one's one that I've pushed almost since day one of doing the podcast um, since kinda not day one of coaching um, but heard it and bought into it and I still you know you hear me say it all the time I get to do something I don't have to do something I get to go to work I get to go to practice I get to do my schoolwork. I get to do this. I get to do that. I don't have to do anything because I can choose not to do it. There'll be consequences or there'll be repercussions or there'll be a uh, reaction for the action, however you want to phrase it. But I get to do these things. I get to do this podcast. I get to do stuff. And having that attitude of getting to do something also helps, I think, helps out with this. Um, try not to rush through things. Uh, and when I say that, don't like rush or wish your life away. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm just like anybody else. I look forward to Fridays, I look forward to the weekends, heck, I look forward to Christmas, I look forward to holidays, I look forward to time off, I look forward to I look forward to watching wrestling, I look forward to a lot of different things. But by no means do I want to wish time away. Um, you know, if we spend all our time wishing time away, um, you know, you can spend Monday through Thursday wishing for Friday to get here and not live in the moment. You get to live each day that day, you know. Um, it's not guaranteed. It's not you have to do it. You get to. So make, take advantage of each day. Look forward to the weekend by all means. Look forward to something coming up in the future. Um, look forward to it, but don't let it consume you in the sense that you forget what's going on now. Um, a lot of you know that our district's gone through a lot of stuff, and I think that especially holds true now. Um, you know, enjoy each day for what it is. Hold on to your loved ones embrace everything that you do. I know all of it sounds kind of cliche, but sometimes it's just good to hear those things. Um, <clears throat> don't wish that time away. Look forward to everything that you're doing. Uh, or look forward to things, but like I said, don't wish that time away. Enjoy it. Um, you know, and live in that moment and check things out. And like I said, I'm not a professional shrink or, um, you know, life coach or whichever, although <laughs> we've talked about some people need those. Um, just philosophies that, you know, I live by myself, you know, Coach Tyler, you know, has similar mindsets and similar thought processes, things I try to pass on so that, you know, we just want to overall be, you know, obviously we want to be happy with, with ourselves and our lives and as we do things. And I think those things will help you in whatever it is that you're doing. I think if we, if we don't rush, we enjoy things, we work hard, um, don't let others define you, be in the moment, take care of what you can yourself you can relate that to almost anything and I think a lot of these things I've gotten from wrestling so I obviously relate it back to wrestling too put it back into the wrestling room with your goal setting with practices with matches um, and then we'll, you always hear us say let that spill over into your life let that spill over into the classroom let that spill over into your work let it spill over into whatever with those same processes and, and thoughts you know and goal setting and different things I think um, obviously you know Dan Gable said the best and once you know, after wrestling, everything else in life is easy just because you can apply what you've learned and how you do things to other aspects of your life. And, um, you know, this is one I just wanted to hit up. I uh, thought about just waiting till Coach Tyler came on. We were able to maybe talk about this together with our stuff. But, you know, I think, um, man, we got a lot of good wrestling stuff to talk about. Just a, a little precursor. You know, 133 is in a, in a state of flux, uh, chaos. Um, his boy Michik is um, 
ranked number one, uh, got our own spin on, we kind of talked about it. Uh, he was like, don't hate on me, Chick. I'm not hating on him. Um, but, you know, we got some stuff to talk about with that. Um, you know, flow was awesome. They got the, the feed to the Oregon. Um, obviously, that happens at night, but I think it's awesome that they're getting some of the stuff for that uh, so that we can, you know, those of us, we can watch on there. I mean, just lots of really cool stuff going on right now um, in wrestling. A lot of stuff coming up. Um, looking forward to going to watch the, the Mox wrestle when they come down to Gardner Webb. It's not too far away from our place, so we'll go check that out. Take the, um, take the boys. Devin's going. I'm going to take the youngest one to it. It's going to be a fun time. Um, checking all that so I'm looking forward to those things but I'm not wishing time away until it gets here so um, you know because we got plenty of work and plenty of other things to do in between and you know just to get out there live your life to the fullest enjoy it listen to our show leave us a like no I'm just kidding um, yeah but at the same time though you know um, you know let us know what you think about things let us know if you enjoy the the separation how we do things with uh, tech cast subcast uh, regular podcasts all that kind of good stuff um, you know uh, I was going to say, you know, we kind of finished up with middle, middle school season. Uh, now we're rolling into our JV and high school season and our post seasons over there. So, like I said, lots of good stuff going on right now. Really excited about a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, just ready to get at it, ready to record some more shows for you guys. Um, you know, even when we're <laughs> not um, podcasting, got the empty seat over here for those of you watching the, uh, the YouTube channel. I know the majority of our listeners are uh, podcast listeners, just the same way I am. I listen to a lot of it while driving and doing different things. So, you know, hopefully you guys keep enjoying the content. Uh, like I said, occasionally I think it's just good to refresh and revisit some of the things that we've talked about before. And you know what? It's also not a bad thing to look back on. And if there's ever something that happens and I feel like, hey, you know what? That I was wrong on that or that wasn't true. Or if you disagree with something, hey, holler at us. Let us know. Um, you know, and I'll go back and listen to it. And sometimes I may not have to go back and listen to it. I just may have a change of, change of mind on something. Like, you know what? I, I don't like that anymore. And this is the way I feel about it now. Or, you know, but hey, it's his life. And that's the way things work out. So, um, everybody out there listening, uh, wrestling related or not wrestling related, good luck on your post seasons. I know talking about my uh, Tuckered Out, Nick Tucker, I know they're getting ready to roll out for their uh, dual state championship, hopefully, and then hopefully they can qualify their guys and they get that uh, state individual title, uh, traditional title as well. Um, you know, and all the, all the others out there <clears throat> that are getting ready to go into their post seasons, hey, don't look past the current day, don't look past your current practices, don't rush through them visualizing what's at the end continue to visualize but stay in the moment do what you got to do at the time uh enjoy being able to get to go to those practices and get ready to prep and look forward to those things but don't wish that time away and then then when you get there it makes it all that much sweeter i think and enjoy that time and uh live in it as well so uh good luck to everybody in their postseasons and we'll be hollering real soon all right bye bye <laughs>